Now I want to show you how we can use our duplicate node or tool. And I have a sphere here in my geometry level. I'm going to select the duplicate tool right here. Click, select the object, and automatically, because it was selected, automatically creates my node. You can go here and tap and select duplicate tool. You can see we have two different nodes. Actually, they are almost the same. Don't worry for now. You're going to use this one. And what I'm going to do is uh, give it, uh, change some of the parameters because right now you can see that nothing happens. We have our sphere here and that looks uh, almost the same. Well, first thing we have uh, in our properties, the number of copies, all right? And the source group, but like I told you, we're going to talk about groups in another movie. So number of copies, I'm gonna change that to about 10, 10 copies. And now I'm going to translate my object. So that way I can see where my spheres are going, my copies, okay? Or my duplicate, my duplication. So I have translation here, and that's what we, we get. Now I can increase the number of copies. I can go farther and farther or decrease it. It doesn't matter. And that's what we get, all right? And now it, this is uh, not uh, the same thing uh, that we used in the other movie. The other one uh, was copying the objects in points to in another object. Now, what we can do here is obviously select our duplicate and uh, scale the copies, right? So they can go like this, okay? From smaller to bigger, like that, right? More things we can do, a lot of different things. So now it looks a little bit more interesting, right? Now we can rotate. Well, actually, they are spheres, so you can see a lot of this detail, right? Separate them a little bit. And there we go. Now we have this interesting shape, right? And now, if you think that this is not interesting, what I can do is select my duplicate and duplicate it. Control C and Control B in order to duplicate this node. Now, right now, they are both doing the same thing, but if I disconnect this one, and now connect this output to this one. There we go, something more and more interesting, right? And now what I can do here, is select the rotate options and rotate this like that. And now we are doing something more interesting, right? So imagine what we can do with this. We can do like I told you, we can add music and make them move to the rhythm of the music create uh, beautiful motion graphics with these kind of uh, tools and, and you can go farther you can go and click control copy same thing right do this crazy thing then share right like that and rotate them in another direction and now you can see how easy is to create a lot of different kind of uh, things here in Houdini. Now imagine moving all these spheres and getting inside, creating particles, some kind of uh, interesting effect. So you can create like uh, cells, okay, for a, a special effect going inside of a body. A lot of different things that you can do with this node. So this is the copy, uh, the duplicate node, and I see you in the next movie.